Welcome to Techno with me. Today we'll start the journey towards advanced strategy to retrieve more accurate information from document. We'll learn how to build a chatbot that will display land graph. Then advanced strategy tech coding to retrieve information from document with hybrid search. So we'll build a streamlit chatbot, then we'll cover Neo4j setup and a coding to display graph. If you like, please subscribe. So let's start. This is Streamlit based RDG application that I built, simple RDG already built. So this one is using hybrid search and Neo4j language graph. So you can uh, upload a document and you can uh, integrate with Neo4j and load the graph. The graph will automatically get displayed over here from Neo4j software or the database. And then ultimately you ask the question to that graph and then with the hybrid search model we can in retrieve some information from the document. So that is our target. It is very, very advanced uh, technology of RAG. So uh, stay tuned because if you watch the entire video, you will understand the Python code. So this is the Neo4j URL and Neo4j is a power your application with knowledge graph. So this is the knowledge graph concept. So let's uh, sign up. So click on here and then start free. You can uh, sign up with your email ID. I prefer Google email ID. So I'll go with the Google email ID. So once you do it, you can go to the Neo4j Aura. Neo4j Aura is their cloud version, but I prefer desktop version to secure my data. So I will search for Neo4j desktop. If you search it, I will get the link to download it. So click on this download button. And once this particular software uh, it's get downloaded. You can open Neo4j uh, software. There, this is the project view. I have created a couple of projects, but by default, example projects will so. This is the d data way DBMS view. And what I'm going to do, I'll create a, a DBMS for this particular program. So let's name it Streamlit RDG. I'll provide a password and let's start that particular DBMS. It will take a little bit of time. So once it is off, you need to install Epoch plugin epoch plugin is a library which uh, are required to manipulate data and uh, provide some graph algorithm neo4j is by using cipher um, uh, query parameter and if you click on open button you can launch it to a neo4j browser that is required let's export some other view also see this is the default uh, database so neo4j is there and the default table and then you can play around with different queries these are the settings you can explore uh, there are different themes and cipher files you can save it so let's get started so this is our existing python code and this python code is uh, uh, you can see this python code in my previous program also streamlit uh, rdg and this is the Langsmith integration. This Langsmith API key tracing and all other information endpoints are there in my env file. And uh, this particular path where I am saving all my documents that users will upload and uh, will create a Streamlit UI. So Streamlit UI, UI will have a simple RDG menu till now, but we are going to add a new uh, option over here also that we display. So using this simple RDG, what we were doing, we were uploading a PDF file and using that PDF file, we uh, splitted that particular document with recursive uh, uh, character splitter. You can see and then obviously loaded the directory recursive uh, character splitter we used with the chunk size 1000. Uh, and it is a straightforward uh, RDG method. After embedding, you can load it to DB, uh, phase DB we used and with a uh, uh, LM Studio, which is local version, you don't need any API key. So you can watch that particular video. The code is all available over there. You can play around and you can understand what is RDG. And this is the side of the my code, which were uh, which developed to uh, like uh, uh, show the chat, chat history and then display the response and call the chain in line number 111 and then uh, so this is the line number 111 and call the chain and get the response and then add the response to the uh, chat history again so it was it was for the simple rg for phase db and the embedding and uh, through the 
uh, that concept now what we are going to do so now we are what we are going to do we are going to add a new option over here rag with neo 4 j so this will add one menu over there in the uh, in the side uh, bar of streamlight let's implement the logic over here if the choice is rag with neo 4 j so we'll give some title of that particular option in the header section so rg with neo 4 j and then we'll write a little more information over here this is rg approach with neo 4 j knowledge graph user will upload document and click on load graph i will introduce one load graph button and this will show the graph in the uh, in the streamlit itself so this will take the graph from neo4j and then what i am going to do i am going to implement retrieve mechanism using hybrid search which is a advanced uh, rag concept uh, that we are going to show you i will write python code but right now i will first uh, call I will, I will first create a graph from the uh, recommend document that's why i will upload the document so this that's the same thing and then uh, I'll, yeah so i'll call that neo4j I'll, I'll define another method rg underscore neo4j which will take two arguments the document and the location where these documents are going to save Okay, I will create one more uh, class because in a single class, if I just create a long uh, a Python code, it does not look good. So let's create a Python class also, which will have everything related to Neo4j graph side. So this is the core of Lang graph using Neo4j. So there are multiple imports required. So first we'll import ways and then will import langchain core runnable and we are going to import runnable uh, branch runnable lambda if we don't need something we are going to delete it runnable parallel and runnable pass through let's import few more files Let's use token text splitter. Recursive character character splitter and token text splitter is little different. Token text splitter split with the tokens, not with the specific uh, characters uh, type. So this is a advanced splitting uh, concept from Langgen, which is very good. You can use it. You can try for your RAG. And then we are uh, we are going to import some graph related libraries. So you start importing if you have any error regarding that module not found you can um, definitely install those PIP packages. So what we are going to do we are going to use Grok uh, API not the uh, uh, OpenAI or any other uh, chat LLM. So we are going to use Grok LLM over here. So Grok LLM is nothing but a new uh, like, like OpenAI. Uh, Elon Musk has uh, started this particular company, Grok, which is very cool. So you can start using Grok also. So I'm using Grok over here. So this is also, you will understand how to use Grok and what are the APIs, how to use API. So for that one, you need to uh, definitely uh, like uh, create API key in the Grok, okay? So let's, uh, Neo4j URI username and passwords. These are the my database username, database password that I uh, created, right? You saw that I created one database. So that you can provide over here by default Neo4j and the password, whatever the password you have given, you can uh, definitely put it over here. So let's create a graph. So what I'm going to do, the document that uh, I have received from uh, the other function, right? Like uh, from the other function uh, there uh, that particular document i am going to create the temporary files over here 
So and then using the directory loader, I will look into all the temporary uh, for temporary files in the uh, that particular temporary directory, and then I'll split the document with chunk size with 500, and then split it. And let's start that uh, the important thing: convert this particular document uh, with with the uh, uh, lang LLM graph transformer. Okay, this is the uh, knowledge graph concept. Okay. So these are the two important method. So LLM graph transformer, which will invoke the LLM and then we are converting to graph documents, the same text that we splitted, right? So LLM transform, uh, transformer dot convert to graph. Let's uh, store uh, this particular information to the Neo4j. So add graph documents, graph documents that we converted to uh, graph. And then these are the few parameters that's, that those are required. And then once you create that particular graph, so uh, this will automatically, this particular few lines of code, what it will do, it will take the document from uh, here. So I'm going to import this particular class. Let's import the class. And call the create graph. Couple of parameters I'll pass over here. And then next, obviously, let's show the graph, okay, in our streamlit uh, chatbot only. Let's define the show graph. So graph would need a few things, okay. First, uh, obviously, the title I will display that this is a graph visualization mode uh, uh, area. And I want to show this particular graph with a uh, button click, with a load button click, and these are the URI and the user and the password uh, at input box that I'm going to give it to uh, Streamlit UI so that user can enter passwords and the credentials in the UI itself if they change it. So, and then I'm going to introduce a load graph button as I said. So once that button clicked, then only we are going to get the graph data. and graph data would require uh, the user ID, URI and the passwords. And then we are going to create a network, uh, create network graph, uh, the network X graph using the data will definitely will will actually uh, use this particular for the streamlit to visualize this particular graph. So let's define the get graph data. So get graph data would need graph and then URI with authorization user comma password. This is the format to uh, create a graph object of the graph uh, of Neo4j. Okay, let's import few uh, missing uh, thing that is required for our knowledge graph. So first, the graph is required. So I have imported that one and these are the query like you can limit it to 100 you can limit it to n this is the cipher query to get the graph data because you need the uh, data right to show it and then let's create that create network x graph a network x is a concept which requires to display the graph so yeah I will import network x as an x and then I need that network also and then streamlit component uh, for to display the particular graph. So once you get the record, you need to run through a loop and then uh, provide and create nodes for those particular labels. You can uh, put uh, any names that is fine and then let's visualize the graph. And it requires network notebook a true net dot from nx g g is our uh, that graph right and then net so it actually generates a graph dot html html file through this particular method and we are going to display that html file let's uh, display that html file in our uh, main area so this is our okay graph.html file in the read mode let's open it 
and encode using ETF-8. Source code is equal to HTML file dot read. Components HTML is the source code. So this way, any HTML file you want to integrate in the streamlet with this code, you can definitely integrate and this particular HTML file will display. So I think this is almost done from uh, this particular perspective. Obviously this try would require one exception. Obviously to catch that exception, we'll catch the exception. Uh, display as an error message. Okay. Anything else I'm missing? This is create. And this is the message area. Okay, you can see this has come. So now this is the title area and this is the information. This is file upload area. I have uploaded my uh, e-commerce thing and these are the UI side. Click on the load graph and we will definitely see the graph. See, you can see the graph and in the Neo4j also, the create graph created this graph. In next video, we'll cover the advanced strategy part using the Python code. This is cool. Thank you.